Okay. Hello, everyone. How are you? It's Bob Sager. It is um, Wednesday evening at 918. What a great day. Great day yesterday. Packed day tomorrow, Friday. So many amazing things going on. And, um, you know, I would love nothing more than for everybody to share in our enthusiasm, our excitement in what we're building and what we're creating. Um, I know in my heart that we will become the largest, I'm gonna say in the top three right now, but in the top three largest solar utility companies, first in the tri-state area and then around the country. I know that, I've known that from day one. So I hope first, I've got some things I wanna to talk to you about, but I hope first that you are able, along with me and others, uh, to uh, phones ringing. I'm on a video recording. I'll call you back. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I hope you're able to share with us in that vision because we know it's about to happen. All the pieces are in place. They're coming into place. Uh, great people joining, new office opening. My friend and colleague Rodney James moving here, just so many things in place, new finance programs, this, that, everything else. Wow, 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 wow. So first, first, I've got two things I wanna just talk to you about. Um, we had just an amazing, amazing, amazing month in May relevant to sales. $5.8 million in one month. I don't think there's any other company here in the tri-state area that did 5.8 million in one month. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure we're probably the only one, which is pretty neat, isn't it? That's exciting. It doesn't, you know, it hit me today when Rodney was really sharing with me the magnitude of that. And, you know, I was talking to Richie and Steven early and we were going through the numbers and that's a lot of business. And for the most part, most of it was done in the last two weeks of May. So first, uh, I wanna congratulate and just kind of thank and congratulate. We're having a celebratory dinner next Friday for those that contributed. It's gonna be exciting right before our class next week. Um, I wanna thank Rich, I wanna thank Richie, uh, Stephen, Stephen Bergman. I wanna thank uh, uh, Sully, James Sullivan. I wanna thank George Ginsburg. I wanna thank uh, uh, John JVB. I wanna thank uh, Mark Kushner. Uh, I wanna thank myself. I think that's everybody. Yeah, I believe, I don't think I left anybody out. If you did contribute and I didn't mention your name, please let me know and I'll add you to that. Uh, but from the stats and the numbers and everything, it was seven individuals that produced that amount of business. Uh, really, really incredible. And uh, I'm excited that we're gonna break bread next Friday uh, as, we, uh, as we did talk about and promise, and that's gonna be exciting. Rodney will be in town, and uh, we're gonna have a great dinner at Brian and Cooper in, um, in Roslyn. So with that being said, with that being said, I said, okay, where do we go from here, right? Where do we go from here? Well, I think setting a goal, right? Let's, uh, let's see, hopefully this was not a fluke, but we're gonna set a goal for the month of June uh, to do $6 million in the month of June. And um, I know we'll do it. I know we will do it. And uh, we'll work hard at doing it. And it's, you know, it's a combination of residential and commercial and this and that and both combined together. Uh, but doing $6 million, it's going to be an effort. Uh, I, we got to drill it. Uh, those seven individuals uh, I'm counting on to really step up to the plate, uh, you know, this core group of people in, um, in really making that happen. We hit 10 million on a consistent basis. <laughs> we are light years ahead of everybody else, light years ahead. So our, our June sales goal our June sales goal is $6 million for the month of June, starting tomorrow, June 1st. Starting tomorrow, June 1st. I want to just, uh, um, I want to look at something for a second after because something just occurred to me, but that's our goal for June. Uh, and I know that we could accomplish it. Now, with that being said, the main thing I wanted to talk to everybody about, really the main thing is, is you is you. 
And um, I've studied people and I've studied personal development for probably 28 years now. And human behavior, I get it, I understand it. I understand what success is all about and I understand how to accomplish things and what to do and love to have conversations with you about that. So I wanna ask you a simple question. Just a simple little question. First part of the question is, what do you want? Do you know what you're wanting? What do you want? I'm going, think about the question for a minute. What do you want? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? And what do you want to have? Do you know? Do you know what you want? Now, I'm not bragging or boasting, but do you have a clear vision where you have a vision board that you look at every day? Do you have a clear vision of your goals? and aspirations that are written down that you look at every day. What do you want? What do you want? And the reason why I ask you that is that first, if you don't know what you're wanting and you're in the sales profession, oof, that's a little rough because we are in the highest paid profession in the world. Nobody can fire you. The only one that could fire you is yourself. So knowing what you're wanting, number one, you're not in a nine to five or anything like that, right? There's no ceiling to your income for the most part. You could make six and seven figures. You could do that. However, though, what pulls you to make that happen is knowing what you're wanting, knowing what you want. First, believing, second, visualizing, and then put it into action, and then constantly play it back in your mind. But do you know what you want? I mean, come on now, let's talk about this. For the most part, everybody watching this is a part of Evlar. You're a sales consultant. You went through a certification class to become a sales consultant. Do you know what you want? How much? Let's break it down. But let's actually let's break it down to the ridiculous because that's how it should be, right? Don't look at if you want to earn 100, 200, 300,000, a million dollars. Don't look at that. What do you want to earn in the month of June? That's it. What do you want to earn in the month of June? So let's presuppose you would like to earn $10,000 in the month of June for the month. Let's take 10,000 divided by four weeks, boom, 2,500 obviously. Let's call it divided by five days. That's $500 a day. $500 a day, $500 a day. So that's about three kilowatts. Is that three kilowatts? So three times 250, uh, three, three times $250. There you go, it's 750. You need to close one, you, oh my God, you need to close kind of a half a sale a day, or you need to close five sales a week, or you need to be in front of 10 people a week. Just break it down, break it down. Don't look at 10,000 a month. Don't look at $2,500 a week, $500 a day. And at the end of the week, reward yourself. And I don't care if it's 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 a month, just do the math. But don't look at what you want to earn for the year. Have a number in your mind for the month and break it down daily and weekly. And I promise you if you follow that. But it all comes down to what do you want? Because when you shout it out, I, well, I wish I could read some of this stuff to you. That is my miracle morning. That when I leave my door in the morning, I'm like shot out of a cannon between going to the gym first, between going inside and meditating, going upstairs, showering, and then coming down here and going into my, what I like to call my workshop that makes me happy. And my, my appreciation and my gratitude for what I have and then visualizing, boom, what I'm wanting. Most people don't know what they want. They'll complain, they'll complain, and guess what they get? They get more crap because they're complaining. 
but rather than appreciating gratitude and knowing what they're wanting, what makes them happy, that's what attracts things to you. So again, what do you want? Would you like to earn 10, 20,000 in the month of June? Okay, do the math like I just did it and let's do it together. We want you to be at the celebratory dinner with us. We want you to be part of the core group with us. We don't want you to be part of this if you're going to be a complainer, a whiner, and all of that stuff. Forget it, go. We are a group of individuals that is leading a charge in the solar utility marketplace, residential, commercial, with a vengeance. We are going to build and are building the fastest growing, largest solar utility company in the tri-state area. That is a fact, we are doing it now. We would love for you to be part of this. So let's keep it simple, really simple. First again, figure out what you want. Figure out what you want. And you know what? Sometimes it could be, you know, whatever. You want to know the house. Whatever. But let's stick right now with a number, a monetary number. And that number could be five or 10 or 20,000 a month. And back into the number. Don't look at the whole month, but look at this is what I need to earn a week. This is what I need to earn a day. Well, how many people do I? Need? It's a simple mathematical formula. It's not mystical, it's not magical. It's simple. It's just a formula. That's all it is. When I went into the insurance business in 1992 and I asked my sales manager, I don't know if I told you the story. I said, Sam, what does the average person make in the insurance industry first year? 35, 40. Ew, I'm not doing that. I want to make 125,000 my first year. That's it. And I use that number because this is my brain. I broke it down. I needed to earn, I needed to earn $500 a day. That's all I looked at, 500 a day, 500 a day, 500 a day. And when I accomplished my goal, my office was on Fifth Avenue in, in Manhattan. I walked down the block to Bergdorf Goodman. I bought a new bow tie. And I was labeled Bobby Bowtie. And people thought I was crazy. And I only worked four days a week. Four days a week. Our son Xavier was just born. I, I watched him and stayed with him on Friday. Saturday and Sunday I was off. Went back to work. I rocked on four days. This is the same thing. I earned 134000 the first year, ranked number one out of 1500 Am I saying this to brag or boast? Maybe a little bit. But my point is, we're in the same business. You want to earn 10000 a month? No biggie. No biggie. I've accomplished the things I've written down. I look here on my goal sheet, right? One of my goals, earn a total of $200,000 by June 30th, 2017. I accomplished that. I have over $200,000 in commissions that are coming to me. Earn $25,000 per month by May 28th. I've done that. Reach $50,000 per month by July 1st. I will do that on a consistent basis. What do you want? Is it written down? Come on. You're in the sales profession. If you have two choices, and forget about Evelar for a second, you could be a wandering generality. You could be like the 97% out there, 97% just wandering, going to work tomorrow because they went to work yesterday because they'll go to work on Friday. And so you could do that. Or, or you could choose to be a meaningful specific. 3% of the people in, S in this country, probably even the world, write down their goals. Guess what the percentage is of people in the world that are wealthy or in America? 3%. Do you think there's a correlation there? I think so. You're in a business that could change your life. You're in an industry that is going, actually the numbers I believe is over 200 billion. It's huge. This is like taking candy from a baby. And we want you to grow. We want you to grow with us. We want you to be part of this exciting venture with us. And we know more than anything that you're capable of doing that. 
We know that. I know that. Others know that. But you need to first know what you want. What are you wanting? Put a number for the month of June. Put a number for the month of June back into it and go meet the father of success. If you don't know his name, his name is work, work, work. And maybe on the next video, I'll introduce you to the mother and then the son and then the daughter and then the other son. But you need to meet the father. First, know what you're wanting. Believe that you could achieve it. Visualize it. Put a dream board together this weekend. Get a bunch of magazines. I have dream boards. I got to show you something. I have dream boards. Look at this. For the last 20 years, dream boards, dream boards, dream boards. Yes, that's me. Yep, see that? That's me. Look at this. Look at this. I have to show you this. Is this incredible? This. Look at this one here. This is back in 1990 something. I wanted, I wanted to buy a house on the beach, Gerald and I in Southampton. Gerald took a picture of me on someone's backyard on the water. We didn't buy that house. We bought the one up the beach. We bought the one up the beach. And I want to wanted to show you something else. I always wanted beautiful cars. I have I've had most of these cars here. I show you this. This is this is back in 2000. I mean, look at this. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can go on and on because I love this stuff and I only wish you greatness. And you were you, we were put here. You were put here. We were put here to be happy, to live a joyful life, to live in abundance, however you define that. The unfortunate thing is that most people get out of, a, this is important now, most people get out of alignment. And if you want to talk about alignment, shoot me a text. We'll have a nice conversation. I'll teach you some of the things that I've studied, that I'm learning, that I continue to learn every day. I believe in you. I'd love for you to be a meaningful specific. Work with us, build with us, grow with us. It is the things that are going to happen are going to be incredible. But here's the other thing I know. Rodney and I talked about this. Most people cannot handle the build out, the growing, the growing, opening an office, doing this, doing this is the exciting part. Richie and I said, hey, this is the exciting part. Three years from now, we're just going to be, you know, going and that's fine. But now, oh, this is fun. It's exciting. Look at Steven Bergman. He's in the business a month, one month. You want to learn, call this guy, talk to him. He is absolutely Mr. Prospector. Incredible. Amongst other ones, Rich, Sully, JVB is unbelievable. I mean, just what a great group of individuals we have. And we want each of you to be a part of it with us. First, know what you're wanting. Know what you're wanting. So let me wrap up. Six million, our goal in the month of June. That's our goal. We'd love you to be part of it with us. We want you to celebrate with us. It's going to be a lot of celebration over the next 24 months. You can guarantee that. Our office is going to be absolutely extraordinary and spectacular. Something for you to be proud of. Proud of. So I'm going to leave it at that. I wish you greatness. And again, as I said before, we were put here to live a joyful, happy, abundant life. You just need to be in alignment. Have a great night, everyone. Cheers. Let's rock and roll in the month of June.